Hello everyone, in this video what I'll be covering is the WHERE clause and in the previous tutorial we discussed the SELECT clause which we use to retrieve all the information from our database and display the information in our browser. Now the WHERE clause builds onto what we learned previously by allowing us in a sense be more specific about what data is extracted from the database. So the first thing that I'm going to do, and just to point out, I'm picking back up where I left off on the viewcontacts.php file. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you the syntax. So for the syntax, we're still going to have select, and we're still going to have column names, and we're going to have from and the table name. Nothing there is going to change. What we're going to add here is the where clause. And then we're going to say column name. Then we're going to say an operator. Then we're going to have a value. All right, so let's reevaluate this. Again, as I just said, nothing here has changed, so we're still selecting information from some specific column names that we specified here, and then we're saying from what table, okay? The new stuff here, where, we're saying where, for example, if I were to type where first name, again, we have that first name column where first name and the operator may be equal, and we'll go over this a little bit more later, where first name may equal, for example, Robert. So if we came back over to my PHP Modman database, as you can see, I will be saying where first name equals Robert. So basically what I'm saying here is I only want to pull the rows where the first name contains an entry called Robert. So in this case, or for this table, we would only be pulling row Robert here and Robert here. All the other rows contain a different first name. So in that case, we would only contain two rows in this result variable. So when we get down to this while loop, we're only going to cycle through this two times since we only have two entries or two records within that table that contain a first name as Robert. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and change the syntax back. And next, I'm going to give you some basic examples here. So what we're going to do again is just add on to our previous tutorial. We're going to say where here, and then I'm going to say where first name again is equal to. That's our operator. And within two single quotes, we're going to say what our value is. In this case, we want to say Robert. So in this case, we're saying select all of the column names from the table contacts where first name is equal to Robert. Again, what I just gave you an example for in the syntax. So if I were to hit save and I were to come over to my browser and refresh this page, as you can see, we're only presented with two contacts. So again, to give you another example, let's go back to the text editor. Instead of Robert, let's type Sally. I'm going to hit save and we'll go back to my browser, hit refresh. And again, we're only pulling out the rows that contain Sally for the first name. So let's next type in a first name that doesn't exist in this first name column. All right. So going back over here to the text editor, let's put, for example, Smith. I'm going to hit save and let's refresh our browser. And as you can see, nothing is presented. And again, the reason why is because if we come back over here to this first name column, we don't have a first name as Smith in this first column. So the next thing you may be wondering is, well, is there any other operators we can use other than the equal sign? And actually there are, there are several other operators we, we can use here, some basic operators, but I'm not going to get into all of the operators, but you do have the choice of some of the basic operators we've been using in previous tutorials. So for example, instead of using the equal, let's use a different one and let's select a different column name. All right, let's say zip code. And for zip code, we're going to say we want to only display records that contain a zip code that is, let's say, that is greater than zero. Let's go back over here to our browser, hit refresh. And as you can see, we're only presented with those contacts that contain a zip code that is greater than zero, right? So if we go back to our database just to make sure we only have three rows that have zip codes that are greater than zero. So again, we can use a different operator and say, well, let's display the rows that have zip codes that are greater than or equal to zero. And in that case, we're going to basically be displaying all of our contacts. 
All right, so next, let's think for a second and say, well, what if we have more than one condition that we want to evaluate here? For example, we want to select where zip code is greater than or equal to zero and the first name is equal to Robert or something like that. Well, we do have that option. Some other operators that you're already familiar with is the and and the or. So, for example, if we wanted to select where the zip code is greater than or equal to zero and the first name is equal to, for example, Sally, we could actually do that. So what I'm going to do here is type the word and or you could actually type the two ampersands. But to keep things basic here or to make it where you can easily understand, I'm just going to type the word and and on the separate line, you don't have to do this, but it's easier for you to read. I'm going to type first name is equal to Sally. All right. Again, so we're saying we want to select where zip code is greater than or equal to zero. All right. And that's basically selecting all of our rows right there. But we're saying and we want to select where the first name is equal to Sally. So I'm going to hit save. Refresh my browser. And as you can see, we only get those two rows that contain the Sally as the first name and where the zip code is greater than or equal to zero. So we go back to our database just to make sure we only have two rows with we have a first name as Sally here and here. And then we have a zip code that's greater than or equal to zero. Well, you might be asking, well, what if I want to add another condition? Well, let's do that. I'm going to type and again here. I'm going to go to the next line and say last name is equal to green. All right, I'm going to hit save. Go back to my browser. We only have one of those rows where the last name is equal to green. So the Sally Tom should actually go away once once I hit the refresh button and it does. So as you can see here, we can get really, really precise or really specific on what we want to be returned from our the where clause. So another question that you may be asking is what if I want to use the and and the or in combination? In other words, I want to use and here and I also want to add an or such as, for example, I say or last name is equal to Tom. All right. So basically what I'm saying here is if zip code is greater than or equal to zero and first name is equal to Sally and last name is equal to green or last name is equal to Tom. If I hit save, I go back to my browser, hit refresh. As you can see, now we're showing both of those rows again, because we're saying, well, if the last name equals green or if it equals Tom, we're not specifying that we only want to show the row or the record that contains the last name as green. Now I'm going back to the text editor. I know once you have this many conditions, things can get a little confusing. So what some would like to do is actually put a parentheses here. And to make this easier to read, I'm going to actually bring this up on the same line since they are in the same parentheses. And you can actually have it written this way within the parentheses. So it's a little bit easier. And we can also make the zip code and the first name be in the same parentheses. So if I extend my text editor here and make this a little bit more easier to read again, just sh trying to show you here another example on how you could actually lay this out. So when you come back through this script or this PHP scripting block and actually look through this, you'll be able to spot really quickly all these different conditions you have. So making it look more like an if statement with a lot of different conditions. If I hit save and hit refresh, as you can see, we still have the same result. So again, if you were in a situation where you had a lot of different conditions, this may be one route you wanted to go. Again, you don't have to lay it out exactly like I have it. You can have the end behind this uh, close in parentheses if you wish to. Again, just giving you the, the example that you can use parentheses within this where clause. So as you can see, the where clause is great for being very picky about what information you wish to pull from the database. And it's usually involved when a PHP script has a search engine feature included. So that does conclude this tutorial. And hopefully now you have a better or new understanding about the where clause. So be sure to take the online quiz at the PHPbasics.com and I will see you in the next video.